Hey y'all, I hope y'all are just as excited as I am that I've had a little more free time to upload on YouTube more frequently. Today I have a new client and as you see, her ends are really, really bad. So it really kind of got ate up from the color for the most part. My observation, it looks like the color has weakened it. So I'm just going to go in and take all of these really bad ends off and just get her on the road to recovery so her hair can be stronger. You see her edges are broken so we're just going to take care of all of that. Right here as you can see you can see right through her hair so it's not heavy at all. So I just want to get it to a fuller state. Now, whether you are a professional or not, you want to make sure that you are using professional shears with really good blades. Because if you're not, you'll end up making the hair worse than when you started. Now, I didn't film this part, but underneath of this layer of hair, her hair is actually tapered. So I asked her, did she want me to cut it higher than the taper? And she said, no, she said I could cover it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take about an inch and a half off this was the shortest piece of her hair so all the rest of it can meet with this guideline I just want to add although I am freehand cutting which means that I'm not using both hands that doesn't mean to do what you see people doing on YouTube and Instagram. It took me a lot of years to get to the point where I could freehand cut. So if you need your left hand to guide your right and hold it steady, you do so. Don't let the internet rush you into making you feel like you have to do things the way everyone else does. So I'm sure you can tell about now that her hair is going to come out kind of like in a bob style. I'm not necessarily going for a bob, but that's exactly what it's going to end up like. And it's also going to be a little asymmetrical, but not deep. It's just going to be like a real calm asymmetrical bob. Now this is what I meant by not freehand. If you need to grab your hand and hold, then that's what you need to do. It comes out just as amazing. Now I'm just going to pull her hair from up top and just kind of point cut a few layers in. If I could have cut all her color off today, I would have done that because I really believe that the color is what's doing this to her hair. But, you know, if I would have cut the color off, it would have been seriously <laughs> a really short cut. So some people like to gradually take their hair off and that's fine. You know what I mean? I, I understand that. I probably would want to gradually take mine off as well. Now the purpose of layering it is so that the hair isn't all one length. You just want to kind of have the cut half shape. You see how this is coming down? So, you know, you don't want it all just one length because then it'd be real chunky and blunt at the bottom. And that's not really the look that I'm going for. now using my babies I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna press her hair with one pass and give it a really really light bend this client is natural I know a lot of times I get that question when I don't start from the wash and blow dry in the video so Yes, she has no relaxer.
also guys i know i always talk about this in like every press video but all you need is one pass okay you don't need to hit the roots a few times you don't need to go over each piece a few times just hit it one time slow and steady all the way wins the race So peep how much heavier her hair looks now. And if it wasn't tapered in the back, it would be even fuller than this. So the point of taking those ends off are one, to make it healthy and two, to make it appear fuller. Now, although I really wanted the color off, I think that it adds a cute little flair to her feathers. So, I'm not mad at that at all. I also could have put a rinse over it if I wanted to, but it's not really no point of doing it. I mean, most of the time I ask clients, like, are you attached to your color? And if they say, yeah, then I'll leave them alone. But if they say they're not attached to it, then I recommend a rinse. And you already know what goes last, the glass brilliant shine for that extra sheen. And now I'm going to take a soft brush and I'm going to brush her edges where they're broken into the rest of her hair just to have them lay. So all she has to do is wrap her hair up every night with a silk or a satin scarf and don't put any extra product in it. When you put extra product in your hair, it ends up weighing it down. And I know you want to be fluffy and light and airy and swinging all around. So don't be packing your hair with a bunch of stuff that's going to have it stuck to your head. <laughs> Now because it's still so much color in the front, you see it's a little more limp. It's still working for her, but it's a little more limp in the front. But as she wraps it every night, it'll get heavier and lay into the rest of the hair. Thanks so much again for watching guys. I'm going to do some new styles for y'all. I just, you know, I like to pull the camera out while I'm in the salon, and that's the easiest way to do it. And this is what people get at the salon every day. <laughs> so, I will see you next time. Thanks again.